What's going on there guys? Undead here and we are back at the server known as Frantic Me. Uh, right now I am standing in front of a very impressive uh, building simply known as the Vault. Now um, I only seen this once uh, yesterday so I know very little about it. Oh, such an angry All beast. I know is it's very crazy and <laughs> as you can hear right now um, <laughs> I have with me uh, two mods, one named Dakar and the other named Cody. Um, you guys want to say hi? Oh! <laughs> Why, hello there. <laughs> hello. And, uh, Dakar, you're the creator of this, right? Yep, I'm the creator of the vault here. I've had help from many people on it. It's a massive obstacle course I made. Very large and has many unique redstone contraptions and obstacles inside each one having their own unique difficulty awesome uh... do you want to explain how most of it works how most of it works yeah like each room well some of the well each room you know it it gets it starts off easy and progressively gets harder as you get deeper into the vault and get through more of the room rooms. Some of the areas are, some of the rooms are multi-phased, where when you get through a part of the room, there's another part that comes into play, which makes it harder, which are some of the layer rooms. There's, there's all, almost everything you can think of that could kill you in Minecraft is probably in this massive structure here almost everything got crusher traps you have traps that drop you into lava you have stuff that shoots out of the walls you have mobs you have to deal with and the list goes on <laughs> sounds very crazy uh... so i say we take a run through it what? Go right ahead. Let's see. Let's see this in action. All right. So, uh, joining me on this little quest will be Cody. And I, are you joining us, Takar? Or are you just gonna watch from above? I'll be. I'll be. Here and there. You'll see me. <laughs> All right. And, uh, yeah, as you can plainly see, the lag is definitely kicking in already. They already pre-warned me about all this, so... Do I, uh... Is the, are these chests here to put your stuff in, or to take stuff out? Uh, if you have any stuff you'd like to drop off... <coughs> That's good. Well, I have three bones. I guess there might be some there. items in some of them that you can use. Huh, bones. <laughs> but I, I don't think that'll do any good in here. Yeah, it's no. the only personal items I have. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think there's so, some bread uh, and uh, swords in the other chest. Oh, is there? All right. Ah, there we go. At least you have something to defend yourself. Unfortunately, you won't find any hostile mobs until, like, the f fifth room. Yeah, I think I'll just take one piece of bread, because I'm sure I'm going to die just walking in. Alright, so, making my way in, um, I see switches. Well, in this room, there are a total of six switches, two of which will activate two different types of traps, and the other, other two will activate another set of traps. Two of them will open the door. Two, it's two iron doors. Pretty, pretty easy, just your basic switches and that. Alright, I guess I'll just give it a go. I would help you, I don't remember which switches do it. <laughs> do you know which switches they are? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna hit this one then see what happens. Oh. Huh. We 
you'd like a drink, anyone? Oh, man. Oh, crap, I got to turn on the water. Definitely turn off the water. I do agree. So I'm guessing that was the wrong switch. <laughs> Definitely the wrong <laughs> switch. They used to have sand. Hand up there. Yeah, I remember when but he first had this, he would dump sand on you and you would die by suffocation. Oh, that's... Yeah, I think yeah. I like the water then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, much more water. More water. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you haven't activated the worst ones yet, at least. So is there a timer or does the water just stay on? Uh, until you switch it off. Otherwise, otherwise you just gotta push your way through it. Now, two of these switches are really bad. And unfortunately, you, just, you should ad I advise closing that. Which code you just did? <laughs> you just saved your life. <laughs> what does that switch do? Fill the room with lava. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> oh, more lava. Oh, yeah, I just saw the lava. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Now this room is a little tricky. There is a hidden path that will walk you through it safely. As for giving you any hints where it's at, you have to do some trial and error. Alright, so certain path I need to follow. Does this involve jumping or just walking? Walking. Alright. I can tell you it's definitely not straightforward. That will be deadly. <laughs> yeah, I tried that the first time. <laughs> okay, yeah, that... <laughs> Okay, so obviously I hit the wrong one. <laughs> cool, are you trying to get the poor guy killed? Oh god! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still alive, I'm still alive. <laughs> I got one door open at least. Ooh. Yeah, I, I kind of just said fuck it and ran for it. I don't blame you. <laughs> okay, how do I open this door? Ah, oh, here's a button. Oh, Lord, <laughs> oh, oh man. Double kill. <laughs> that was pretty extreme. Well then. Almost everybody falls into that one. I didn't even know about that one. Alright, I'm back on. Yeah, there really is no point in bringing any food here, like, for the first round. Like, there's our checkpoint. Hold on, let me move back, because when you hit that button, I totally just fell to my death. <laughs> okay. So are there two buttons up here? You just have to jump? I don't understand well, this one. Yeah, maybe. You want to hit the button from there, and then I, suppose I guess we jump it? That could be nice. The sign is designed to intimidate you. Uh, I'll try. Right. <laughs> oh my 
my god. Lava Wash <laughs> claims another life. I don't think that worked. I'll, I'll give you guys a hint. The way to open the door is back and is, is in the room behind you. Oh, I see. Now that's really secretive. <laughs> Did that open? No. Nah, it's still closed. Okay, it's open. So now I'm afraid to pull this lever here. And nothing. that just scares me. <laughs> A little bit. There's a button over there. Oh, there you go. Well, that seemed really intimidating for nothing to happen. <laughs> oh no, I was actually very paranoid. <laughs> well, you guys missed a sign down here. There's a reason why. down the steps, you should read the sign. Hey, you guys missed. Ha, <laughs> thought it was a trap. Nice. Now we're just being cruel and sick. Now this room, I decided to be a cruel, cruel person. No way I'm gonna do this with all the lag I got. <laughs> oh man. Always watch Koi try and do it. <laughs> I think that's the plan. I don't think that door likes you. Oh, do Oh, I suppose he's going for it. Alright, cool. I'm, I'm back at spawn now. <laughs> oh! No! <laughs> that didn't sound good. I made it to the very last one. <laughs> oh, don't forget to bring. Hey, gotta get undead back. Oh, I'm back. I'm gonna. I'm gonna film him trying to do it again. I brought him oh. I think you should just watch on this one. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I can, make I can it. definitely not attempt that. This room's primary goal is to test test out your jumping skills and timing. There he goes. He's almost there. Oh no! Oh, oh. <laughs> so these uh these little pressure plates go off, they're just timed. Oh, uh, those tra the wooden trap doors. They are on the 
circular rotation, there's certain ones that are randomized. So the, the circular ones you can easily avoid. Sometimes the random ones will get you though, and you least expect it, like I have them in front of the door and a few other key locations. It's not too hard to avoid. It's just jumping from one spot to another is probably the difficult part. Or lagging. Okay, one last try and we're going to see what this is. <laughs> this one makes a lot of people want to either skip it or rage. I've only had probably a handful of people get through with it. To get through it out of the dozens of people that have tried. Yeah, I could definitely see people raging really hard. Oh, he almost made it. Yeah, the, the door has a button on the bottom, so you have to push the button and immediately jump. You gotta jump just right. Otherwise, you'll catch the corner of the door and just end up falling into the lava, or the door will just, or if you're a little slow, the door will just slam in your face. You just fall back into the lava. I'm kind of scared to know what's in the other room because I hear a skeleton like near me. Well, that's maybe a, a room above you then. That room's a little bit. Okay. I'm going to use my skip on this room. Okay. Your skip has been granted. So how far are we right now? You are in the. <laughs> About 20%. Less than that. How cool you are. I'm at the next spot for both of you. I know I'm ready to go. Alright. There you go, you guys are. You're in the next you are in the next room. Room number five. This is where the room where the swords would come in handy, along with the full suit of armor. Now I'm trying to actually read the signs before I go anywhere. Yeah, I need to redo the signs sometime. I messed up on them somewhere. little pit right there designed to shove you on lava. I can very much feel the rage building. Hit certain switches on the way down. I believe you have to hit certain switches to open that door up there. For some reason, spawners aren't working. 
At least it's easier for you guys. Oh, oh someone got the right switch. The door, door opened over here. You gotta jump over that thing on that jump for it, man. This room is such a pain in the head. I don't know if the spawners were working, that would be even more. Oh yeah, I'm starting to really lag now. There's some good redstone stuff going on here. Combat with a vicious bee. Oh, the mobs are working. One. Unfortunately, this by your one bite. Yeah, and I just uh get by lava. This will make you have to deal with hostile mobs. And war with ice. Now this room on the hand that you're in right now, well the lava in the center. This one is a has a unique pattern. If you figure it out, it's easy. It's a cakewalk. If you don't figure out its pattern, it will be a royal pain in your arse. And you will learn to hate this room. Much more I could take of this. <laughs> yeah, these are probably the worst room. What tight spaces? Good amount of lava everywhere. <laughs> Lots of lag. <laughs> oh, Cory. to get through it just barely though. You can always look behind you to see what the room, horrible room that he got through, though. A sort of evilness, isn't it? That room is definitely a bit scary. Now this room, we decided to test out oh. how well you can see. With a combination lock system, and... Lava is definitely my friend today. Oh, yeah. So how many deaths is that for me? I 
think we're up to at least 12. <laughs> Maybe a little less. I know I'm at like 20. <laughs> uh, if we were doing this the way he normally does, we would have already lost a long time ago because he gives you five lives. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, this is uh, this is getting a little out of hand. <laughs> Well, in this in this uh, room, there's also water that comes down at at certain times, so it's it's on a circular certain time limit. I really like 10, 20 seconds. Water will come down, then it'll shut off. I'm going to bring you to the outside where it's a lot less dangerous for you. <laughs> yeah, it's I think probably I what was causing that. your terrible yeah, life. You can now see the rooms that you were just in. All the insane redstone contraptions that are involved. So, is all the redstone wiring uh, rigged together from each room, or are they all separately rigged? Um, some of them are no. together, but most of them are their own little independent thing. Yeah, the, the one with the uh, cacti and the ice, the combination lock, that one's linked with another room that's directly above it. As for this one, this one's on its own, has its own things. Using mine carts, power rail, and detector rails to power all the pistons on into a pattern based system. Yeah, I see all the mine carts moving around. Yeah, that's uh, one thing he really likes to do since mine carts are kind of if you have reliability, it adds a certain randomness to some of the traps that trigger. So, how long did it take to actually wire Heck. all this together? months of work would be a start. Started working on this thing in probably mid-July of 2011. Did you have this pre-drawn up like on paper and then you kind of just went with it or was this all like basically freehand? Freehand. I just kind of thought of an idea, and it's like, well, this might be cool. Make a different version of this. From like the last room, one that pushed you right into the central pillar. This one just has a bunch of random pistons in all directions, make it look more impossible. Well, it <laughs> certain rooms seems impossible. look easy. Certain ones look like they're impossible. Like the room that Cody went through right here. Or the one with all the that you're looking at right now, all the with four different mine carts going out across. That one looks impossible, but it's actually it's easy if you time it right. You just you can do it in one shot, run right through. Just getting the timing down it is impossible. <laughs> well, sometimes the pistons will end up going together. The mine carts eventually time out, go to a different. Well, the timing on mine cards eventually change slowly. So it does have some sort of a randomness to it. It's not just like a certain sync. Like there is some randomness to like how it goes. There's some randomness. Kind of like it's like a half a pattern, half a randomness, half and half, pretty much. Now the room with the cacti here, this one has a pattern to it. The water comes on, at a certain point it comes off, and it has a combination lock. Those are a pain in the butt. This whole thing is just very first... uh, crazy looking, like just to see how all of it works. 
It just the amount of wiring and stuff that had to go into this, like, I don't even know how he managed to do it, because I can't even navigate it just to try to figure out how things work. Uh, pretty easy for me. I know every single room in here. <laughs> of course, I suppose I built the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, I was about to yeah. say. Crazy man, the car. Alright, well, I think we are done here, guys. Uh, I want to thank you to Car for showing me off this great, great vault. And thank you, Cody, for joining us here, too. Hey, no problem. And, oh, don't use your dose. We have to show you more rooms in the future. There's some more harder ones later on. Later. <laughs> Yeah, um, oh, did you want to tell them about your other project, the pyramid one? Ah, Rage Quit Pyramid. That is definitely a work in progress. This, that's an obstacle course that starts off even harder than this one. Off the bat. I definitely want to boost up my RAM for that one, right? Oh, definitely. Well, right, well, right now, you could probably do some of the rooms in it, since... It's still in a work in progress. Don't have all the redstone contraption going nuts and bananas on you. <laughs> we can maybe give you a small tour real quick of it. Uh, sure. Why not? Take a warp there. Oh, Kadoki. Uh, give me five seconds. I'll have that warp set up. Awesome. We don't normally use our warp system like crazy, but just due to the sheer distance that so many swings are out, I'm giving an exception for you because you're actually here to do something. Very much appreciate that. Well, yeah, I mean, we normally run the server very vanilla, but, I mean, there's certain situations where it's just... It, it's very inconvenient for it to take half an hour for you to get there, especially when you're trying to record something. Yeah, that would be a pretty epic walk scene. Oh yeah, there's and for some reason we have just abnormally large amounts of creeper activity on this server. Abnormal. That's <laughs> that's an understatement. Yeah, I don't think I've been out at night at any of your guys' warps yet, so I have yet to uh see all the craziness that goes on. The then bless your soul. <laughs> Although I did like, uh, someone had a farm with all colored sheep wools on the sheep. I love when they do that. This is a front door to Rage Quit Pyramid. There's a large wall surrounding it. You should get a good view of it. I'm going to uh, allow him to be on the top of it um, after we try out this first room, which is all he'll have to do, I assure you. Well, I'll be there in just a second. A very long time to harvest all of this nether brick. And we're nowhere near done. We still have to harvest another anywhere from 10 to 20 double chests of the dang stuff. I shouldn't say that, but <laughs> it's the dang <laughs> truth. <laughs> See, I find that crazy that you guys do this all vanilla, like you don't um, spawn in the items or... Well, I mean, I imagine the spawners you guys have to spawn in, right? Um, we world edit them. Um, if you find a spawner, you can pay to get it moved. Um, via donation, it's a um, option they offer. I think they do it like uh, five or ten dollars, depending on how many spawners. It's ten dollars per spawner. I have spent and a then, lot. Uh, they'll just me. world edit it to the location you specify. People primarily utilize it to make a specific mob type grinder, but in the car's case, he makes a zany trap. But all the uh, all the nether brick and everything, you guys don't go to creative. You just do all this by just harvest or like going and getting it, right? Right. Yep. Yeah, it takes yep. forever. <laughs> what, we only wasted like what, how many enchanted diamond picks on it? <laughs> like six. 
more than that. Not to mention all the other stuff. That is insane. That must take a lot of patience and time to just harvest all this stuff. I'm going to put yep. you on top of the pyramid yep. so you can see this whole thing. <laughs> oh wow, this is really intense looking. Massive. <laughs> Very much. Okay, it took a it took some careful calculation to actually make this right. We messed up a corner the first time we built it um, to actually get this pyramid made. It was quite an undertaking to get it done, actually. Now, is this all Again. even? Is it like, f um, like is the top like five? Let me see. Yeah, it is all even. That's pretty crazy. Yep, it is symmetrical. Yeah, our wall is 10 blocks out, and then the wall itself is 22 blocks wide. Surrounds the entire pyramid. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> pyramid. Pyramid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Does it usually snow over here? Like in this area? Is that why you chose it too? Yeah. Yeah, we picked a snow biome because um, for a while on our old map, the snow biome were corrupted, so we really missed it, so we just decided, you know what, we're going to build it in a snow biome. Yep, just build a pyramid in a snow biome. Who cares? <laughs> it's Minecraft. That's how you have fun in <laughs> Minecraft. Exactly. So where is the actual entrance into this pyramid? Well, I'll be there in just, in like, 20 seconds here. To get into the actual pyramid, there's not a way in yet. But if you'd like to see the inside of it, I can bring you to it. It's rather empty, though. Oh, that's fine. I'm, I'm quite good with not dying anymore. There's nothing deadly in here. <laughs> <laughs> it actually has, it's actually been lit up. Um, right now it's just a big hollow box. It kind of looks like the uh, the Las Vegas pyramid, almost. It does have a resemblance to that, doesn't it? Yeah, with the, the diamond top, like, representing, like, you know, the big beam of light that comes out the top. Oh, yeah. Then we just put diamond blocks on the top. I think it was nine dime blocks it took. And that's all uh, harvested too, right? Yeah. A lot of it he actually makes through selling his TNT and stuff as well. Hey, hey, gotta sell stuff here on the server. <laughs> yeah, uh, the type of uh, system we use for um, any type of currency is actually just a bartering system, and they like to deal in diamonds. So is uh is that how this Diamond. server works? Is a uh, barter trade? It's not just uh like there's no money currency. See, no nope. money plugins is all bartering. We the most we have related to trade that is eh, kind of unvanilla is just a, a chat channel for it. But I mean, with this volume of people, it's necessary to have separate chat channels. It's a very good server. I like it. I had fun. The people here are pretty good. Usually. Usually. Sometimes incidences do happen. And why is there a freaking sheep on the pyramid, Cody? Why is there a goddamn sheep here? You actually have a two sheep on here. What? Place is supposed to be rage quit. <laughs> Anger, rage. Fine, we'll just shove a room with full of sheep and see them deal with it. You open up a lever, a whole room full of sheep come flying out at you. <laughs> oh my! God. That would be amazing to see. I would like so bad. Either that or like uh, a is there parts of like the rooms you would like to see? We should show them at least four, the first four rooms we have 
done, at least. Uh, they're pretty big, though. No, they're not too big. As long as it doesn't involve dying, then yeah, I'd like to see it. Oh, well, they're deadly. That's the problem <laughs> with his rooms. They kill you. Well, you can watch me die in it. There we hey, go. That's, that's that works. Yeah, there we go. And you can watch Cody die, too. He's gonna help. Okay. Yeah, I brought you back to the entrance. Well, in this room, you know, this one has two deadly um, pressure plates, so they're hidden on the room. Of course, they're out of arrows. The spawners up here are two cave spider spawners, two regular spider spawners. The focus of Rage Quit Pyramid is to have mostly spider moms in here to make it very, very unique. The, Rage Qu um, the vault has a combination of all the mobs, so I thought, well, Let's have something useful for the Bane of Arcopod Swords. And Koei just got the right combination on the lock here. And the combination can be easily changed. Now, if spawners are working correctly... It up on me from earlier, I helped them build this room. <laughs> so you do change the, the lock frequently to basically confuse people. Oh, yeah. I'll do it randomly. In this room, you just walk on the pressure plate and walk forward. In this room, this is a a real pain in the ass. In this room, you stay here and wait, you'll end up getting attacked by two cave spider spawners. This one is a timing one, though. It's kind of it's, it's kind of chaotic, though. Yeah, I see the ice. When the ice thing goes about, yeah, that only took like. A half an hour to an hour for it to mold into place. But you got two two mine the mine cart system, two of them on the sides, which are pushing you are, which are in control of the nether bricks pushing you off the side. And then you have one mine cart going circular around the whole thing, which controls the ice blocks. I advanced yeah. you past that room. That looks really yeah, crazy. Sure get... I can, uh, I can definitely see myself getting really mad with this. Oh! No! Uh, it, it can be frustrating. And he's done. That was caught on film. Yeah, he collected the mention film. was a very, very lengthy fall down to bedrock level. <laughs> that was not part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very epic <laughs> no that you let out, too. Evil, I tell you, just evil. This is a room that I made. Very obviously obnoxious. Oh, oh you gotta show, show him something else in there, though. The blocks move in and out of the lava. Something we've, we've, oh, yeah. yeah. Something we've added to this room, if you look to your left, is a, um, a um, type of a little lottery you can play to try to get a fire resist potion. You basically just take an item and toss it in, and we'll get a buff. We got poison, and I don't know what else we got, but it wasn't good. <laughs> oh my god, does it actually matter what you throw in there, or like... Uh, no, it's just a wood, pl wood pressure plate. You just drop an item in, and hope to god you get something good. <laughs> nice. Okay, I, I I'm can back. barely do this room, and I made it, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm coming this time. I have a yeah. system running I, the pistons. I think I got oh, hit by the poison, poison too, That's... because I'm, like, dying over here also. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try the random buff machine here and see what I get. Yeah. Normally, the f I managed to reset the time limit on it. Normally, it's a five-minute time limit, which is how long it takes for an item to spawn, so you can't just use it every single time. And in a worst case scenario, the ran this thing can kill you also. Which you could end up getting two instant damage, two potions thrown at you. Oh, there's one. Well, maybe I'll get something lucky. Oh, there's another. Ah, oh, great. I died to wild <laughs> magic effects. That's all I always want. Well, let's see. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. 
Don't care about eggs. Ooh, instant health. Or that no, that's strength. Oh, those are good ones. Strength and speed? Yeah. Well strength ain't gonna do no good, but speed too might. Hey me! Oh, <laughs> you made it. Here, Corey, hang on to my arms while I die. <laughs> oh, okay. You're in the car, burned to death. I'm bringing you past that. This is a scary room. Now this one is... Are you familiar with the uh, Hero Bridges? Or the Bravery Bridge, which was made by someone else. Hey, I think his name is Toka should be, or I can't pronounce his name, but I give this, I have to say this guy is awesome. I hope he makes more crazy contraptions. I just, the one I made here is a modification. It's just five times longer. And at the end, it gets faster. Is that where you step I on the pressure wait. plate and you have to follow the bridge while it goes down? Yes. Yeah. In this case, we made a glowstone, so you can call it a bridge of light. I think everybody's really familiar with it, though. Uh, it, TPS is down, so it got me. I think I might give this one a whirl. Run, jump, 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 jump! It will catch up with you, man, if you don't run, jump. Believe me. Oh, I think he's gonna make it. Come on. Oh, it's, it's gonna get ya! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think that... you were almost at the end, weren't you? Yeah, I was close. That was actually a lot of fun. I kind of like that one. Corey, get him back over here. I'm working. I gotta have to get. I need to give this room a try too. Oh. What the? Yeah, some random Enderman in here. <laughs> what? Enderman? What is going on? That was an angry Enderman. Being... What the f... <laughs> we have Enderman in the air. What the f... <laughs> <laughs> like I said, every time I make a structure... Why is it every time I make a building bizarre things happen that normally don't happen? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try this. Hopefully, right, I think this is gonna be fly the last away while run, I'm on the and then I gotta call. Grits. There, he's dead. <laughs> okay, dokie. But there'll be new, more rooms in Rage Quit Pyramid in the future, such as one where it's designed to buff the mobs with the uh, potions, which makes them harder to kill. You can actually buff the mobs with potions? Yes. Like a zombie which only does like one, one and a half hearts. If you buff it with like a strength two potion, will end up like doing three to four hearts of damage. On normal mode. And giving them swiftness just makes them faster, so it's like giving a mob on steroids. It's like, hi, I'm a... Sp Hey, I'm a zombie. I'm normal. You're normally not scared of me, but now that I have these buffs, I'm on steroids. I'm gonna come kick your ass. That sounds extremely scary. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I died, so I think I'm gonna call it quits for now. Um, so, basically, guys, come check out the vault and come check out the pyramid whenever it's finished. Uh, you guys got any last words? Um. 
Welcome to Frank and me. <laughs> awesome. Awesome Thanks. server. Thanks for checking out our server. And I'm oh, glad you so like the vault. <laughs> the vault is definitely very interesting and cause, can cause rage. And I'd like to thank everyone that helped build the vault and and the Rage Quick Pyramid also. Awesome. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for having me, and I hope we all uh, have more people come to this uh, Just pyramid out. and check it out. See y'all later.